Grand Rising Cosmic Family. <clears throat> You gonna think I'm calling you. Even if I'm not calling you, you gonna think I'm calling you. Peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai, Grand Rising, Grand Rising Cosmic Family. Y'all go ahead and make yourselves comfortable. We got this download we finna drop in two. <coughs> Y'all go ahead go on Instagram, let them know we live. Go on Twitter, let them know we live. Facebook, um, uh, if you're on the website, let them know we live. Jump in the forum right now. Drop a comment for those who are on the website and let the, let the university know we are live for this deep divine download about uh, Matrix Resurrections. Although we I called the, uh, this lecture Matrix Resurrections Decoded, we're not really going to be doing too much decoding. We're going we gonna, to we gonna decode little shit, but we're going to overall talk about just, you know, what it represents. Um... Yeah, we're going to talk about what the movie represents, you know, because they they put it right in your face. Um, I told many of you, you could that you could have decoded it for yourself, but I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with the divine insight on, on what they was really trying to tell y'all with this movie. All right. And if you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alerts all through this motherfucker. You feel me? <laughs> but definitely, I let y'all know about a week ago that this was posted a week ago, so... There's no reason you shouldn't have went and watched the movie for yourself, which even when we um when we when we scheduled the live lecture, I was actually hoping that if you hadn't seen the movie that you was gonna go see it for yourself by then anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the whole week before class started, you know what I'm saying? The study. You feel me? But Like the sage. And y'all know before we roll into the download, we, we gotta open it up. We gotta set the right vibratory frequency. We have to set the frequency. Y'all know that. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Also, I hope y'all wasn't out there celebrating Christmas. I hope y'all wasn't out there celebrating Christmas. But I don't feel like y'all was, you know. I feel like this year, a lot of people waking up. So celebrating Christmas was, was, was not some shit that everybody was doing this year. I ain't even see that many Christmas trimmings. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. Sit that right there. Mm hmm. Sit that right there. All right. Y'all get comfortable, man. Make yourselves comfortable. Y'all know we just getting started. But before we do anything, you know what, you know what we do, y'all. We got to set the frequency, set the vibration, vibration. And we always like to open up with like a little quick six minute meditation. Now, we're dealing with quantum energies right now on the planet.
close your eyes and participate.
right, all right. Peace to the family, peace to the family. All right, so now that we set the vibration, because this live lecture, we will be talking about the divine feminine energy and this connection with the divine masculine energy, we had to bring oil on. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kyle. Also, peace to all the high vibrational human beings that tune into these live lectures. We do not discriminate. We don't support racism in here. We don't support sexism in here or any of that. Feel free to be yourself. Feel free to be yourself. All right. All right. So, welcome to the University of Cosmic Intelligence. I'm your host for the evening, Divine Insight 369. Thank you. <laughs> um... I have a few disclaimers, man. If you don't like profanity, ask the motherfucking university now. If you don't like intelligent black people, all right, ask the university now, okay? If you have a problem with white people being in the university and you're black, ask the university now. If you're gay, you want the whole world gay, ask the motherfucking university now. Thank you. If you have a problem with gay people and you're straight, ask the university now. We don't care if you're fat, skinny, short, tall, rich, poor, gay, straight, how is your vibration? What is your intent? Are you trying to make the planet a better place or not? Period. Whose side you on? You know, ain't no in the middle. Ain't no, ain't no, we trying to figure it out. We ain't on none of that type of energy. Either you with us, the gods, or you with the fog. Period. That's all we know. We know nothing else. All right? Um. So that's my disclaimers. I ain't had that many. Now that those out the way. Matrix Resurrection... I'm, I want to get right to it. Matrix Resurrections was a very, a very, um, a very, very deep, very deep, deep movie. I don't know how many of y'all saw the movie just yet. I know it's some people that never seen the first Matrix. Especially, we got a lot of blue crystal babies in here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but we're going to talk about it. But before we get into it, it's imperative that we open up this university, open up this live lecture with the right spiritual energy. So first, let me start by saying peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. I am sending the deepest of insights to all the elders in the university, those 65 and older. We know age and time isn't real. It's a man-made thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a construct of the matrix. It's a spell created by the Arcturian race. All right? So... To all the elders, 65 and old, older within this university that, that take these downloads and you spread them, I just want to say that I appreciate you deeply. I respect you um, if nobody else does. And I thank you for what you have done while walking in this avatar a little longer than myself. I thank you for tuning in and taking the time to listen to, to my flesh and my avatar, which might be a little, a little, uh, which might not have been on this realm as long as you have, at least in this lifetime. Um, far as to all my peers, those in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, we appreciate you. I'm sending you the deepest of insight so that you can see for yourself, so that you can take these downloads and connect them. Um, I do feel obliged to just, just let you know that I appreciate you as well. Um, I thank you um, for, for tuning in to every live lecture from day one, definitely the day ones. I appreciate all the day ones, and I appreciate all the day twos too. You know, I appreciate every single one of y'all that takes the time out to come on here every Sunday. We normally do these on Sundays. Today's Monday. Um, yesterday, I had other things going on um, that stopped me from going live yesterday. Um, I wanted to do a little more rest and relaxing. <clears throat> so that's what I did. But thank you to all to all my peers. Um, and definitely to the Blue Crystal Babies, you know, for spreading the message over on TikTok. We had like 17 million views on TikTok. Even though we don't have a TikTok page. So that's all the Blue Crystal Babies, those 21 and under. We appreciate you deeply. Um, I don't want to say that y'all are future because future, present, and, and past is all a part of time. I just want to say that, 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 that y'all are very important. Y'all are very important to us overcoming our oppressors. 
And if don't nobody love y'all, just know Rashad Jamal, a.k.a. Divine Insight, do. So I respect all the Blue Crystal babies. I don't look at you no differently than I look at the peer, my peers or my elders. I respect you all the same. I don't see race. I don't see color. All I see is frequency. You know, all I see is souls and spirits. That's all I see to the streets, to the trenches. Um, I want to send y'all the deepest of insight. I know the, the trenches in here too watching. The trenches in here too in the university. The real street niggas is, they don't know nothing else but selling drugs and game banging and and that's all they know. Those are the cars they was dealt, but they come in here every Sunday or they get on the live so when we do the lives on Instagram or they on the university. So they able to to get the downloads and now they starting to see who the real oppressors are. Now they was dealt the hand they was dealt. You know, to all the people that sitting behind bars, you know, that's that's locked up in this wilderness in North America by oppressors who are the real slave masters, you know, that's this that's getting this information and getting these downloads and spreading it throughout the jails. You got to understand, this university is an international thing right here. This ain't just no, you know, we got people that's in jail. Literally, I won't say their name, but they they in jail and they be in live lectures on Instagram. They be posting everything from jail. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So the message is spreading through the jails all around the planet to the people that went to college, to the people that didn't go to college, to the people that's rich, to the people that's poor. You know, it's spreading through the animals all throughout nature. Um, so I just want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all deeply for taking this information, taking the message seriously. You know, um, I told y'all it wouldn't be no winter this year, and we haven't seen one yet. You had a few little cool days here and there. You might have got a little sprinkle of snow here and there. That's not winter, though. You know, winter is 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 blizzards, snow every day, cold all day, every day, all the way through. We we haven't seen that. And what you seeing going on right now in the in, um over in Seattle and Denver, you know, because. Because they weren't able to have a hold on our planet using their winter technology anymore. Now you're starting to see them try to activate heart. So the whole little fake snowstorm that they do got going on right now that just started in Denver and Seattle and on the West Coast, that's temporary too. That's Now that's man-made. That's nothing more than them trying to use their little heart machines that they have left to try to keep the agenda of winter going. But for people that's in Denver, for people that's in California, definitely I want to say Denver, right? Because Colorado... Colorado was a state where, you know, y'all get y'all snow shit October, y'all be good and going. Um, even now, because they over because they have over overused the heart machine, right? The little heart machines they was using, these these ski resorts are still not able to make money right now. They haven't been able to make money all what's supposed to be winter, right? They haven't been able to make money. And in a in a in a in a panic mode to try to bring some sort of snow, some form of precipitation. All right. Now you see them overactivating the machine. So what happened? They oversnowed, and then now the tourists still the the the, the ski resorts still can't 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 use the ski resorts to make money. All right. The system is breaking down. We are in quantum energies. It's all about the divine feminine energy and the divine masculine energy moving as one. That's the energy we own. That's the frequency we own. It don't matter how many variants of the hot sauce nineteen they try to roll out. You are watching the system break down. All right, you are seeing people that, that 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 were vaccinated, right? They now need boosters, and you starting to see those people starting to look around and ask more questions, right? Because everything is breaking down. <clears throat> I think January fourth is supposed to be the the, the, the vaccine um, mandate, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it's gonna be um twenty twenty two. It's gonna be a very a very impactful year for us in our rise against our oppressors. You got to understand, we at war, y'all. So, like I told you, when it's a war going on, the war doesn't just. You gotta understand, y'all. We at war. So when it's a, so when it's a war, when it's a war going on, you know that that war don't just. You know, you know, a war isn't something that just happens in one day. It's a it's a transition in errors, all right. And, and if you've been paying attention since December twenty first, twenty twenty, you have seen a drastic change in the energy on this planet. All right, especially if you pay attention to to the planet on a on a worldwide level. Now, if you just pay attention to the planet <clears throat> based upon the country, you still see a lot of changes. But if you pay attention to the planet based upon on a worldwide level, science cannot explain to you why the planet is doing what it's doing, and that's what that's what has made this movie Matrix Resurrection so interesting. I probably watched it like three times. Right, because I was just I was just in awe of how much, like they didn't they didn't hide nothing, they they really laid it all out for you, 
let him move after I see. Clearly, like I always say, they laid it out there right there for you, for you to see. All right. And in the movie, um, you know, if you ever seen the first Matrix, you know, it started with Neo being in the Matrix, right? In 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 what we call reality, right? The Matrix. And you know, he he was awoken through his computer, right? Through messages that came to him from Morpheus and Trinity. And he ended up following the white rabbit and it led him eventually to Morpheus who offered him this red pill or the blue pill. And he took the red pill and, and from there he woke up and he went into Neo. All right. Matrix Matrix Reloaded was about Neo now that he knew that he now that he was aware that he was the anomaly in Matrix 2, which is Matrix Reloaded. Um, now that he knew he was the, the anomaly, meaning that he had the sacred codes within himself to reprogram or recreate his own reality. Um, you saw him, he had to reload the program. So that's why it was called Matrix Reloaded. And Matrix 3 was about, um, I think it was Matrix, they called it Matrix Revolutions. I like to just call it 1, 2, 3, or 4. But I think 3 was called Revolutions. And that was just about them revolting on a, on a, on a, on a, on a massive scale against the sentience, against, the, against the, 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 the architectures of the entire program and the sentient beings. That's what you saw in Matrix 3. All right, Matrix 3 to me was trash. Matrix 1... And Matrix 4, these are the two that you need to watch. Matrix 1, because it tells you the world you're living in. Like I always told y'all, if you want to know what movies let you know the world that you are living in, go watch The Matrix. Okay? Go watch The Truman Show. Go watch They Live. And you can go watch Ready Player One. Alright? A lot of people is, is thinking that Ready Player One represents the metaverse. But no, the, the metaverse is just another another way to try to keep because the system is breaking down. So the metaverse is another way that our oppressors is, you know, another plan that they have in tech to try to keep us latched on to these sentient programs that I like to call them. All right. Oh, um, and it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You know, they can put out all the articles about, oh, this billionaire bought this much property in the metaverse. We don't give a fuck about that. We not going to buy shit in no metaverse. All right. Um, niggas barely went and bought Christmas gifts this year. The planet is rising. You hear? Listen, the reason I know niggas barely went and bought Christmas gifts is because I, I got to take the trash out. And when I took the when I take the trash out, I don't see no I don't see no Christmas. I don't my neighbors and them like I didn't see no Christmas. Nothing at the trash can. If Christmas was celebrated, them trash cans would be filled with all type of boxes. And I ain't see none of that. I think we might have had the most trash. You feel me? And that's just because we just, you know, straightening the house up a little bit because we we never done it. You know, we just now trying to do it a little bit. But other than that, you didn't really see nobody doing it. You don't see you don't you don't see that energy. You don't even feel like what they call Christmas, right? Because <clears throat> when the this was all a program, all right, and it's the program. Like I told you, I told y'all last year. I was I was speaking about when all the billionaire CEOs stepped down. I told you exactly what was happening. I said, hey. When all the billionaire CEOs stepped down in 2020, that's because a lot of them were being executed and tried for crimes against what they like to call humanity, if you want to say that. And a lot of people was like, well, who, who is, who is, who is, who is executing all these billionaires and these big celebrities and these Supreme Court judges and everybody that was in on this sex trafficking? All right. They like, they, they had people thinking it was Gitmo. And I told you like, no, it's not Gitmo because Gitmo would be your basic military. All right. Guantanamo Bay is, you know, that's military still, right? It's cosmic court. They're being held up in cosmic court and being tried by powers beyond their own understanding. Okay, you've seen a lot of that happening in 2020. So what you're seeing now in 2021, you've seen a lot of clones. You've seen a lot of Mach 5 synthetic robots, all right, posing as these celebrities or these individuals when they work the jobs that they work to try to keep those that's in the matrix, that those who still have their eyes closed, those who are still trapped on 3D, all right, to try to keep them believing and to try to re reprogram those who are who have broke past the matrix, those who have broke past 3D, those who are vibrating at 4D, 5D, 6D, 7D. Some of us vibrating at 9D right now. All right. <clears throat> so with everything breaking down, this is what they resort to. They resort to trying to create more programs. Everything was always a program. So in Matrix Resurrections, they teach you all about the programs. They show you how Neo, right? Neo broke the Matrix. Remember, he broke the Matrix now. 
But in Matrix Resurrections, he's in the Matrix again. And you're like, hold on, what the fuck? How did Neo get back in the Matrix? You know, he didn't know who the fuck he was. You know what I'm saying? Literally, he was back to Mr. Anderson. He had no clue that he was Neo. Although he would have these visions from time to time, he had no clue that he was Neo. That's the first thing that should have stood out to you. It was like, okay, we seen Neo break the Matrix. He broke that in one. And then two and three, the nigga was flying, doing everything. So how did he get back here? And that, 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 when they, when they were showing you that in, the, in, the, in Resurrections, they were showing you how past lives work. Okay? They were showing you the process of how when a soul leaves this realm, right? If the, if the, if the, if the matrix hasn't fully been broken, if the oppressors haven't fully been defeated, who has this entire realm under light code lockdown, then light code lockdown continues. Even once that soul and spirit transcends this realm and transcends the avatar, the programs will continue to go on. So in Matrix Resurrections, Neo, who had transcended the Matrix, all right, and the, and he had he sacrificed the Matrix Three in Revolution. He sacrificed himself, right, for the betterment of the whole. But as you can see, he was not. He was only reborn again back into the Matrix. So he was reborn again back into the Matrix. And when he came back into the Matrix, everything that he had learned before. All the power that he had regained within himself, he had lost all that. So he had to relearn all over again. And what the analyst did, the analyst was the was the new architect of the matrix. So he was the analyst was the one that was in charge of the matrix. And what he did was he understood exactly what Neo was and who he was. So what he did was he 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 infused Neo's life. With all these scenarios and situations, and he did it for 30, 40 years of Neo's life. And during Neo's whole life, even as a child, he would have these visions of seeing him flying. He would have these visions of Trinity. He would have these visions of, of doing all the things that he did in Matrix 1, 2, and 3. But they were coming across to him simply as visions, right? And the analyst gave Neo the life of being rich and famous. In Matrix Resurrection, Neo was a rich and famous computer programmer, video game developer, actually. Okay? So, if you look at that in our world, most people will be like, okay, well, why would, if he's famous and rich, and he has a successful career, he should be happy. But Neo was not happy at all in Matrix Resurrections, because he knew it was more going on that he couldn't explain. All right. And anytime Neo would try to latch into those those visions he would have, he was sent to sit with a psychiatrist. But his psychiatrist, who he had grew a deep fond bond with too over the years, was actually the analyst, meaning architecture of the whole matrix. Okay. Anytime Neo started to remember who he was, what did the archi what did the analyst do? He told him it was just a dream. He told him, nah, you just you're having he programmed Neo back into believing, back into Neo believing. Um, he programmed Neo to be what he wanted Neo to be. Every single time Neo would go sit with this, sit with the psychiatrist and be like, hey, I had this vision about this, or I seen this. Am I am I am I living in a computer simulation again? Right? The analyst would be like, no, you're not. You know, you're just having these withdrawals because of this, 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 and that. Also, remember in the first matrix, you had your blue pill and your red pill. Red pill means you wake up, blue pill means you stay asleep. He prescribed Neo nothing but blue pills. So all Neo was doing, you know, he said, hey, take these pills that help you feel better. Neo, take the blue pills, keep them asleep. That's no different than you sitting here going to religion today to keep you sleep. That's no different than you popping over-the-counter prescription drugs to keep your ass sleep. That's no different than you eating this bullshit applesauce, junk food, meat, fish. These are all forms of, blue, of, of a blue pill. These are all blue pill. They are blue pilling you. And then, like I told y'all before, 
the play on vibration, they could have made the red pill the blue motherfucking pill because blue is a higher vibration than red. They made the, the high vibrational pill red. You see what I'm saying? And made the low vibrational pill blue. That's going to show you how left is right and right is really left. Up is really down and down is really up. To keep you detached from self, they have to keep you confused. All right? A lot of y'all, y'all go to marriage counselors. A lot of y'all go to uh, uh, psychiatrists. You know, you bump your elbow, you run to the doctor. But you're not realizing that these doctors, these psychiatrists, these priests, these ordained priests, anybody that you're going to that's considered, you know, the upper echelons in society, the professionals are designed to keep you attached to this false reality of self that we call the matrix. Okay? Now let's go, let's go deeper. Neo even created a book, a video game in Resurrections called The Matrix. Now, let me, let me say it again. Neo created a whole video game called The Matrix and he had all the characters in there because he created this video game off of his visions. Off of his visions he was having, right? His whole life. That's an example of how I tell you to trust yourself. You get all this intuition. You have all these visions, these dreams. I get emails all the time. Oh, I had this dream. I had that dream. Trust your, trust your dream. Trust your visions. Where do you think they coming from? The dream world is the real world. This world is an illusion. This shit ain't real at all. Remember, what are images? Just light bouncing off objects, animate or inanimate, right? And you receive digital codings off the light that bounces off these images. The, the coding is what they have control. That's why it's called light code lockdown. Because whatever the light hits, they control the codes that come back to your retinas. For you to perceive it to be whatever it is they want it to be based upon the code that they've infused inside of the light. This is why it's called light code lockdown. You have to really understand what I mean when I tell y'all we under light code lockdown. So basically resurrections. In that, in that scene where he created this whole movie. Based off shit that he really lived but he didn't even know he really lived it because he thought they were just visions. A lot of y'all go through this. A lot of y'all go through that. A lot of y'all deal with that. But you don't trust what it is that the that that the astral realm shows you. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, it's just a thought. Why? Because you trust the matrix over yourself. You trust Jesus over yourself. Trust Allah. Hell, some of y'all trust Joe Biden over yourself. See? Think about that. We watching the movie, we knowing like, damn, nigga, you really live that shit. But Neo didn't know that. That's exactly how our ancestors be looking at us. Like, nigga, that ain't no thought. You really lived it. Some of y'all be, I was in the Astros. I was flying. I went here. I went there. Back home on Xylanthia, they looking down at you like, nigga, that ain't no dream. That's reality. That's reality. That's the real reality. But Neo perceived it to just be a video game that he created. Not thinking, but where are these thoughts coming from? All, all creativity is inspired from source. When you, when you create something, that takes divine feminine energy. Because remember, the divine feminine energy is the creative part of us. Remember, she is the creative. She's the creator. 
The divine masculine energy job is to enforce, provide and protect and enforce. Remember, I talked I taught y'all about dark matter energy and what makes the matter what makes the energy dark. The divine masculine energy makes it dark because his job is to provide and protect. A very strong celestial energy, dark matter energy, the strongest. They call it antimatter in science. So anytime you're dealing with creation, creation is sparked by source. Your creative thoughts ain't just coming out of nowhere. You have to go up into the astral realms and you pull that back down here. Anytime you're being creative, that's what you're doing. You're going up into the astral realms and you're pulling that back down. You're pulling the, all these creative ideas and inspiration. All that shit comes from the astral realms. And you're pulling it back down. All that's coming from source. And you're pulling that back down. And then you either write it down or you speak it. Right? Also, look at Morpheus in Resurrections. Morpheus didn't look the same. And it's not because they couldn't have um, rehired Lawrence Fishburne to play Morpheus again. They could have <laughs> they could have did that. They purposely chose the different actor to play Morpheus because they wanted to show you they were talking about reincarnation. Listen, the movie Matrix Resurrections focuses on past lives. This is why Neo starts off back in the Matrix not knowing shit about his past life. It teaches you about, it's talking about source and where creativity comes from. The astral realms. It's talking about um, reincarnation. Right? Because the new Morpheus, it was still the same soul and spirit. But he was in a different avatar because the Matrix had been redesigned. So the new Morpheus, that's why when he told her, I'm Morpheus, she was like, oh, shit, she hugged him. Oh, shit, you look different, but I know you. that's the same soul and spirit. It's a different model. They talked a lot about models, modules in Resurrections. They talked a lot about old codes. Because this shit is codes. Programs. And when Morpheus came back to himself, when he was trying to give Neo the red pill in the bathroom, Neo, oh, hell no, nah, I ain't taking that shit. Because he made a whole video game about, about it. So he knew all about it. <clears throat> he knew all about it. So he's like, hold on, wait, what? Take the pill. Oh, man, hell no, nah, nigga, I'm not. This can't be real. It can't be real. He, re he did not want to accept it. Even when they were shooting at him. They shooting at him. He's still standing right there talking about some, no, it can't be. That's how far they had disconnected him from self, from source. That's how far they had disconnected Neo from source. All right? That's no different than When we look up and we see ships in the sky, we still say they planes. You looking right at it. Uh, it can't be, man. That got to be a plane up there. It ain't moved, though. In like 20 minutes. It's just sitting in one spot. you like, oh, that got to be a plane. And then your mind go and tell you, oh, well, that ain't no plane. It has to be a star. It's a whole ship sitting there looking at you. Watching over the planet, watching over the ramp. As many times, many of you have did all type of things in your life that will be con will be that will be considered impossible. But what what would you say? You have been programmed to think, ah, uh, it's just a coincidence. That's it, it's coincidence. Right? The whole resurrections was about us. God species. It was about us. Even when Neo woke up and he was coming out the pod, he saw Trinity. 
he was destined to get back to Trinity, that actually became the rest of the movie. Him trying to free Trinity. But then when he when he bumped into Trinity in the Matrix, he was a rich video. Listen. <laughs> he was a a famous video game designer. Trinity was anxious to sit in, sit there with him and meet him because he was famous a video game programmer, right? But when they sat down at the table and talked, they had a deeper connection. But guess what? The Matrix made them think differently. Because together, they are unstoppable. Neo represented the divine masculine energy, which is why they made him white. <laughs> Trinity represented divine feminine energy, which is why they made her white. Neo, the Matrix had him thinking he was just some video game programmer. And how was Trinity living? Trinity had a whole husband and kids. A whole husband and kids. Do you see the way they program them to keep them away from each other? I'll make you a famous video game programmer. And you... I'll give you another husband with kids. So if y'all ever do bump across each other in, in this in this in this construct, y'all will never come to that again because she got a husband and kids. She's not finna break her marriage. That goes to show you the way they do you, the elites do you. Remember I told you when you first get here, they inject you with nanobot technology. And some of you. Your dark matter energy levels are so high that they separated you from your real mom and dad at birth. They put entire families around us, man. Whole family that you don't even belong to. I told y'all that before they ever came out with the fucking movie. And then they showed it to you in the movie with Trinity. You see? I told y'all that before they ever put it in a fucking movie. And then they showed it to you in the movie with Trinity. Because this is what they do. Even Neo. Everybody around Neo was designed to keep his ass believing that he wasn't the one. His best friend was the fucking psychiatrist. And what was the psychiatrist doing? Feeding him everything to keep him believing he's not the one and plugged into the Matrix? This is the real thing they do to us. It's not just a movie. And you wondering why you the only one in your family woke. You wonder why my mama ain't trying to hear that shit. Well, that don't make sense. Because genetically speaking, the apple never falls that far from the goddamn tree. Hmm. So you're telling me. Here you are woke as can be. But ain't nobody else in your family trying to hear that shit. Something ain't adding up now. I can see a few motherfuckers not trying to hear it, but genetically speaking, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. So why am I the only motherfucker in the family that that's woke? That sees shit for what it is. Anybody else trying to hear shit? Niggas still celebrating Jesus, Christmas, Valentine's Day. You the black sheep, ain't you? Yes, you is. Niggas look at you like you crazy. Y'all be hitting me up. Hey, man, God, I'm trying to get my mom and them to see. How about you step back and, and ask yourself, why don't they see? Why don't they see what you do? Is it because you really a chosen one or is it because that's not really your family? And like I told you, a lot of y'all not ready for that. Just like Neo wasn't ready to realize that the world he had been living in wasn't real neither. <laughs> but it's the truth. They measure your dark matter energy levels at birth. Your shit too high? They give you a whole fake family. All the teachers that was in your... That, that, that was every class, every grade that was around you from first grade on through. Government, sentient programs. All your friends. 
They pick your friends for you. They pick your family for you. They pick the schools you're going to go to. They pick the jobs you're going to have. After all, you got to go through them to get the shit anyway. That's how deep it get. That's how deep it get. And if you ever so much as come back in tune with self on any level, we got mom, dad, aunties, uncles, best friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, the motherfuckers in your community, people at your job all around you, agents all around you to keep you believing that your ass crazy or you tripping. That's what they for. I had to cut all my friends and family off to find self. I did. Mom's side, dad, I had to cut them off. I stepped back from everybody. To break free. Because I, I knew. I knew what was going on. I already knew what everybody's role was. And you wondering why you the only motherfucker woke in your family. Why I'm the only motherfucker woke? Don't nobody else see what I see. <laughs> That's because they're not your family, man. That's not your family you was really born to. They separated you from them. Real mom, they separate you from all them. Some of your moms and mother and dads were so weak, they, 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 they sold you to the government. Others gave you up out of fear. And now they become the psychiatrist. All your friends, your family, they like the psychiatrist was Neo. That's their job. That's they role. That's what you gotta know. That's they role. That was they role. That's how deep it gets. That was they role. Just like the psychiatrist. Just like Trinity. Trinity couldn't wake up. She got a whole husband and kids. And when she did wake up, what they do at the end of the movie? It was all based on Trinity. She held the keys and in, 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 in this Matrix 4, she held the keys. It wasn't Neo. See, it was all on Trinity. The first three was on Neo. This one was on Trinity. That's how it is in real life amongst us. The divine masculine energy, we got our role to play. We, we, right? To hold it down. But in the end, for us to overcome, it's going to take the divine feminine energy for them to know who they are. It was all about saving Trinity. See what I'm saying? So that they can crack, crack it again. And what happened? Trinity damn near, they damn near lost. Soon as Trinity sat down to hear what Neo had to say, who they sent in? Her husband and her kids. Ooh, that's a hard one, ain't it? Husband and the kids come in like, come on, let's go. She like, damn, you know, like, right. Let's go. Husband and the kids, that's a hard decision for a wife to make now. Husband and the kids pull up like, hey, let's, let's go. But these are the extents that the oppressor goes through to keep you to attach to the matrix. That's why you have to detach. Crown chakra meditations. Get your amethyst game on. Meditate with them. Because if you don't detach. You'll forever be lost here. There's too many things to keep you here. You can't be afraid to lose nothing. You got to know everything is an illusion. And everything that you truly need is already with you. It's our illusions. But look how cold, look how they play the game, though. They sent the wife and the hood. They sent the husband and the kids in. And she got up and walked with them. She's like, damn, all right, I got to go. The last minute, she snapped out of it. But these are the extents they go through.
Now, when you're talking about the Trinity, you got to understand the power of the three, six, and the nine because the Trinity represents three. You got the divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy, and then you got source. That's the Trinity. Source created the divine feminine energy who then in turn created the divine masculine energy. What source? Dark matter energy and plasma. And out of that, our goddesses manifested themselves. And after they manifested themselves, they turned around and, and manifested us. That's the Trinity. Divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy, and source. That's the Trinity. And the goddesses hold all three within them. We don't hold source within us. We have divine feminine energy in, as gods. We have divine feminine energy in us and divine masculine energy. And we have to connect to source. Let me repeat that for the gods. We don't hold all three. We have divine feminine energy in us because we come from that and divine masculine energy in us. And we have the ability to connect to source. But the goddesses being first, they have divine feminine energy in them, divine masculine energy in them and source within them. So they hold the Trinity within them. That's why Trinity was the key in this last one. This was a very esoteric movie, this Matrix 4 was. And notice, Neo never got his full powers back in Matrix 4. He was able to stop bullets. He a little plasma boat. But he wasn't at Matrix 3 and Matrix 2 Neo. The person who held all them keys was Trinity. That's why they went to jump off the roof. He couldn't fly. She flew them away from that situation. But what it was showing you in the movie was Neo's willingness to step back and let the divine feminine energy lead for once. Because remember, in every other movie, Neo was leading. And it's not that he wasn't still strong. He was still strong. But the movie depicted it like that because they understand that the divine feminine energy is back. And the divine masculine energy is that it's, it's reaching its full capacity. But remember the trinity now. Divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy, and source. Source ain't never left. Source always been source. But divine masculine and divine feminine energy got confused. That's what the oppressors did with, witch, with witchcraft, white magic, light magic, I like to call it. They put the divine feminine energy against the divine masculine energy. We, we coming up out of that slowly but surely. And it all starts with just a little respect for our, our goddesses respecting the gods. You know, not looking at them like, they just some nigga. Niggas ain't shit. We ain't got that mindset no more. You could say, that's a program. A nigga is a program. A god is reality. A bitch is a program. A god is this reality. That's a program. If you see a god in his lower self acting like a nigga, that's because he is fully latched into that program. See? He got to get red peel so that he can Come up out of that program and be in, in reality, which is his God self. You see a God is in her lower self acting like a bitch, a gold digger, only trying to use her body, and her, her, her titties and her coochie to get ahead in life. You know, she's she's lashed on to a program. She's participating in that program. She's not in reality. When she gets out of that program, she enters reality and realizes that she's a goddess. 
So we can't be saying bitches ain't shit and niggas ain't shit. We got to call a bitch is a program and a nigga is a program. But you have so many gods that are in their God self as we moving forward compared to this same time two years ago. You got so many goddesses in, they, in, they, in their higher vibration frequency compared to where they was two years ago. That now that divine feminine and that divine masculine is going to connect. One out of but other. They need both. And that's what they were showing you in Matrix Resurrection. When they both touch, can't nothing stop them together. And they told you that literally in Matrix Resurrection. When the divine feminine energy links into the divine masculine energy and they, and they merge, nothing can stop that. And that's what we're going to. That's the, that's the energy right now. Because we have to form the Trinity. Like Captain Planet. By your powers combined. Even when you look at history. It was always the divine feminine energy and the divine masculine energy. Any revolution. Any wars we won. We was always united. United with ourselves and united amongst each other. This is what resurrections is all about. Because we are being resurrected. Born again, if you want to call it that. We be, we're, we're being resurrected. We was dead. We not dead anymore. So they had to name the movie Resurrections. And then they dropped it at the end of this year. Of all the years, nigga, they could have came with a part four. They could have came with part four years ago. Why they want to come with part four now? With all the shit going on in the world, y'all want to come with a part four right now? It's a form of magic. Hollywood. Like I've been telling you. Hollywood put the movie out. They trying to make it right. They can't come out and tell us, so they want to put it in the movies. Try to make it right. But it's too late for that. Oh, let's try to make it right and put little hints and put it back in the movies. And If you ask me, it was no need for a part four to the Matrix. They made that out of sheer desperation. But I want you to focus on that blue pill, though. How they kept giving him them. He was popping the shit out them blue pills. That's what you do when you turn the news on and you believe what they tell you. Blue pilling you. This channel, this is a red pill channel. Red pill you on this motherfucker. They don't like, they don't like me. I'm like the anomaly. Like he got the codes. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep y'all from the codes. That's why they take me and other truth speakers, truth tellers. We are, we represent a code. Everything is codes. We want to keep you detached from self. The matrix does. The oppressors does. So that's what he feeds you. All these headlines to keep you detached from who you are. And I want you to remember anything. I'll tell you, remember who you are. They tell you to forget who you are. They don't want you to know about candle magic. 
You can't know about none of that. Symbolism and how to use it. Your true powers that lies within you. Your connection to source, which is your true creator, they can't let you know none of that. So that's what stood out to me the most that I liked about it. I'm like, damn, look how they got Neo taking all these blue pills, though. You feel me? He's popping the shit out them blue pills. You are galactic beings. I'm not lying when I'm telling you that. When I'm telling you that everybody that they consider black and Latino has carbon in their skin. And you are the creators of everything you see around you and everything that you do not see. I'm not just telling you that to tell you that. When I say we come from Sirius X, Xylanthia, that's headquarters, located in the 19th galaxy. I'm not just telling you that because it sounds good, man. That's a true red pill for your ass. It's the truth. And they know it's the truth. When you see these quote unquote UFOs, if you expected some green niggas in suits to hop off them bitches, you smoking, you smoking dick. You hear me? You smoking good dick. Because I'm telling you right now, everybody want to see what's on these ships. You going to see us hop off them bitches. That's who you going to see. Then niggas feelings going to be hurt. Because you expecting to see some magical beings hop off the ships. And it's going to fuck you up when you see us hop off the ship. Like, damn. That's what we sent Rashad Jamal for to let you niggas know who y'all was. It's us on them ships. But they can't let you know that. You know, when the ships is moving in all type of ways that, that defies their laws of gravity. Because I told you, gravity is man-made. All their science is lies. Gravity don't keep you on the ground. Density does that. But they'll have you believe in this gravity. When I say, hey, you know, our goddesses manifested themselves out of dark matter energy. They ain't need no dick and no semen. That's That actually happened. You think it's just a dream. You think it's just a lecture. That's no different than Neo in Resurrections. Every time he get them visions, he push him out his head with the blue pill. Every time you come here, get this deep download, the rest of the week until, the, until another Sunday come, here they go blue pilling you all week. You got family want to call you, invent you, listen. I ain't listen to nobody. Listen to none of that shit. Because your Vinny contains programs that's going to lower my frequency. I'm going to care about what you're going to do. And now I'm focused on caring and I ain't focusing on self. And now I've become emotionally attached to your shit. Now I'm blinded by those emotions. Which then causes self to go off and do some whole, experience a whole bunch of shit that wouldn't have been experienced. That's not selfish. You know what that's called? That's called cutting down the programs. That's what that's called. It's not being selfish. It's called defusing, deactivating the program. You want to call me to vet, but I can't call you to talk about real cosmic facts, though. I can't even get you to meditate. You want to vet? Let's meditate together, though. Can we meditate, nigga? You ain't trying to even meditate. You ain't going to even sit there three minutes. See what I'm saying? Programs. The people that were shooting at Neo and them, you know who they represent? That's the police. They are the enforcers of the Matrix. 
We got all this magic in place for them to keep being a part of this matrix. But guess what? If them niggas so much as act like they don't want to follow the motherfucking program, we're going to get physical. That's what the, that's what the military for. National Guards, CIA, FBI, U.S. Marshals. That's what they for. You think them niggas really want to stop crying? Niggas can never sell a drug, send a shot off. For one week. Just one week. And they're going to find new things to call crime. They have no job description if there's no crime. So why would they want to stop crime when this is how they feed their family? Think about that. Any law or enforcement official or where are you fighting crime? You're not fighting crime. You're promoting crime. You bank on crime happening so that you can get it paid every two weeks. Same thing with the doctors. They don't want to heal you. They need you niggas sick. They need you niggas in there, in and out the hospital. How they going to get paid? How do they get paid if everybody's healthy? Hospitals be empty. Now, how are they making money? You need to ask yourself how your government really feels about you. These are all programs. Sentient programs. Light cold lockdown. Why would they put us under light cold lockdown? Because you are electricity. 666. Let's go back to the basics. Cosmic facts one on one. Electrons, neutrons, protons. 666. All that is electricity. You electricity. At your core. So everything they do is for electricity. Everything they do is a tax against electricity. Electrical attacks. <clears throat> and when you can understand that, you can further see past the matrix. If you can remember, I am electricity. That's also what makes you a non-ether being. And every thing the oppressor does are attacks against electricity to de-amplify your electricity or our electricity. They don't view us as single individuals. They view us as a conglomerate of electricity. We're trying to amplify the electricity. They're trying to de-amplify the electricity. This is why getting back into hoodoo is a big thing. It's going to be needed in 2022. 2022 is how long they have been away from their home planet. They mark it. Remember I told you, they, they mark their year. They mark their years. Oh, so in 2021... They had been away from their home planet 2021 of their man-made years. 2022 marks they have been away from their home planet 2022 of their man-made years.
Their reign ended December 21st, 2020. So it only will cut down more their power from here. It's no going back uphill with, with the things they have done to us. It's only going to break down more and more. So us getting back into hoodoo is a big thing. I don't want to say voodoo because voodoo has been infiltrated. Voodoo is a religion. Hoodoo is not. Hoodoo basically is the, the remnants of voodoo. So, hoodoo really is voodoo without the religious base. After the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, our ancestors had to hide the way they practiced voodoo. So they hid it behind hoodoo. And they also, this is why a lot of the Orishas were re-nicknamed as saints. For example, Papa Legba, who is the first Orisha you must go through because he's at the crossroads. He's the gatekeeper. Before you can activate any ritual or any spell, you have to ask for his permission first if you wish to do it properly and have the most ashe behind it. He is, he, he's the keeper. He's the sacred keeper of the ashe as well. But guess what? Our ancestors hid him behind St. Lazarus. So that when these oppressors would come along, they wouldn't know what they was doing. So getting back to, you know, now they call it New Orleans voodoo, Haitian hoodoo, Haitian voodoo. We can just scrap all them names. Just get back to hoodoo. Because the power in it is limitless. After all, it's based on your intent. But to eradicate this matrix, to make the full use of our resurrection, back into our godly states, that which we are, we have to get back to our roots. Com communicating with our ancestors, talking to the spiritual realms, not being afraid to communicate with the spiritual realms, because some people are. But that's what scary movies do to you. Scary movies that have you, horror films, it's the reason why you scared to communicate with the spiritual realm. They knew what they was doing when they came out with all the horror movies. That's what that was about. Especially the ones involving ghosts. That's what that was about. We are in quantum energies. This is why it isn't any winter. The planet is getting warmer and warmer. It's increasing back to its state. The plants are going through metamorphosis. The animals. The minerals. And so are we. But we cannot be scared to connect with our ancestors. We cannot be scared to walk within the spiritual world that which we come from. We cannot be scared to do that. This is where your power is hidden. We are the elements. Remember, I am everything and everything is me. We are the elements. We won't lose this war. It's already won. We can't lose a war that's already won. Just like in Matrix Resurrections. The, 
the analyst or architecture, whatever you want to name them. He created all type of programs to stop the inevitable and none of it worked. Neo eventually woke up again and through his waking up, he was able to wake Trinity up. And by waking Trinity up, they were able to merge to once again break the matrix and rewrite a whole new reality. And that's what you're witnessing. All these programs they put in place for us, for us to sink, did nothing but bring us closer. Look at this pandemic. It was designed to tear us down. It brought us closer. It made us stronger. It took many of you deeper into yourself on levels you never would have went if it didn't happen. You see how the ancestors work? And with their arrival made the um, elites panic and even create a pandemic. That's why they panic. Oh, shit, they back. Oh, we got to keep these niggas in the house so they don't get the radiation. But in doing that, you only brought us together. Made us tap more into self, more into source. That's all it did. You, we just right here, we're at the beginning of our powers. We're not at the end. Niggas just not realizing they everything. And that still ain't sunk all the way in yet. But imagine when it do. It's just like any lesson. When you first learn one plus one was two, that shit ain't sink in. Even when they told one plus one is two, like, okay. You know what I Nigga walked out. The next day you came, one plus one is two. Okay. A month later, nigga asked you what one plus one, you like two, right? It's the same thing. We in here like, hey, I'm everything and everything is me. We like, okay. We do another live, like, hey, I'm everything, everything is me. Y'all like, all right, you right. That's how it starts. You know, you got to hear it first. You got to hear it a couple of times. But then it's going to stick to you one day and you're going to really embody that saying that I am everything and everything is me. And it's going to be sooner than later. And they know it. It's all about repetition. Because repetition is vibration. Anything, any lie they taught us, they never told it to us once. They never told us that shit once. They drilled it into you. So that it could stick to you. And that's what I'm doing. Drilling this shit into you so it could stick to you. If you created all that you see and all that you don't see, what is the limits to your power? You have none. You are limitless. You really are. This is why they... Went out their way to kill you, poison you, drug you, miseducate you, make you wear cloth, clothes, they like to call them. Standing right here with my shirt off, I'm getting all this electricity. My electricity is just, but if I put some clothes on, it's going to be compressed in. Wherever the cloth is, the electricity is compressed. Sometimes you see me get on here throwing wife beat on, throw shit, just feel how I feel, how I feel that day. But overall, you go, oh, I'm always on here with no shirt on. Everybody, put a shirt on. When I first started, nigga, please. Niggas was telling me to put a shirt on at 3K subscribers, nigga. Fuck out of here. Because I knew the reason for me not having a shirt on. I want to amplify my electricity and my intent. Onto the planet. Onto the realm. On, over Atlantis. We back to nature. But with great power 
comes great responsibility too. So we're not remembering these things for us to take that power and do what Satan did. To use it for negative or to harm individuals for no reason. That's not the purpose of, of it. To defend ourselves. Our species. You turn the news on, they running out of lies. The news ain't never looked so confusing. It was a time you turn the news on and they have their lies in order. It's not like that anymore. It's not like that anymore at all. They be confused. The analysts breaking down. Just pay attention to what they what the stories they rolling out. I told y'all new variants gonna keep coming out. Cause that's an attack on us. Why? Because because the ancestors back. The portal's been open. It's so much shit taking place that they're not even reporting. This shift is a real life thing taking place. You won't be able to tell one season from the next because it never was seasons. All we knew was warmth. We didn't have seasons. Seasons ain't coming to play really until they start fucking with the technology, fucking with the atmosphere. Like I told you, do you really think niggas was half asshole naked and it was freezing cold? That let you know winter was something that was new. This year won't be no winter. Next year, goddamn it, a leaf might not even fall off the tree. Then what they gonna tell you? What they gonna tell you to, to what can they tell you now? They can't even explain what's going on right now. So they don't even try to explain it, they go around it. I warned y'all about the the food shortages. I warned you all about the ZRV-16 virus. AKA the Pax. You know it's real when the people that took the hot sauce 19, now they asking questions. Because in the end, even Satan himself gonna have to bear witness to the truth that he never wanted to bear witness to. He will never be stronger than us. No matter how powerful he made his army, Satan will never be more powerful than us. Zeus will never be more powerful than us. No matter how Many minions he have in his army. Fallen angels that left with him. He will never outnumber source. This is a real life revolution we in. Revolutionary times we in right now. That's why it's fucked the whole system. That's why I only say what the ancestors tell me to say. It's them talking through, through this vessel. We the last generation. That's real. That ain't no fairy tale shit. It all ends with us and it all changes with us. Babylon is falling. Babylon is falling. That slick harlot, that slick whore she is, drunk off the blood of our ancestors and our kids. I told you, every child 
every woman that ever went missing since the 1960s was done by these elites. Shit ain't new. We just not hearing about it. They've been doing this. You think they you think they're not gonna pay with that pay for that? They gotta pay for that. The karmic debt is being repaid. They the real vampires. You know, can't take sun, blood drinkers, Satan worshipers. And then you want to know if vampires are real. They're very real. Werewolves too. It was a movie called Silver Bullet. They say the silver bullet kills the werewolf. I wonder why silver though? Of all elements, why would silver harm a werewolf? Why would silver harm a werewolf? What is silver? And what does it do to electricity? And what does it do to electricity? These are things I want you to meditate on. Frankenstein. All these stories of legend. Are a lot realer than you think. But we in a time right now, the reason why all is being revealed, because this is the collapse of Babylon. So we gotta see everything that they was hiding as the ship go down. That's all that is. Everything that they was hiding is being revealed as the ship goes down. A lot of individuals want to save the ship. Niggas out there with they with their little canoes. You know what I'm saying? They threw the little ropes on. They trying to pull the ship back up on the other end to level it out on the water. They going to sink with the ship. When the gods recognize who they are. That which we do, it brings about the destruction of this light cold lockdown. And that's what you're witnessing. With that being said, peace to the gods and goddesses of Planet Kai. I'll see y'all next week. If you ain't watched Matrix Resurrections, go watch it. Also, we're doing a meetup 122.22. For those who don't know. We meeting up one twenty two twenty two. I had to bring Oya on. She represents the divine feminine energy. The divine masculine energy being one with the divine feminine energy. We talk about the Mississippians next week. I leave as I come. Now we rise. One.